What's up guys? I'm Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and I wanted to go over making port and uh, filter lids for grain spawn and liquid cultures. So these are really nice, especially if you don't have a laminar hood. Um, it's a good way to minimize the exposure to liquid cultures and grain, which these ones are the most susceptible to contamination. So I tested out a few different kinds, um, trying to figure out what I like best. And I think that these white plastic um, ones seem to hold up a little better in the autoclave. So I prefer these white plastic over the stainless steel. Um, these are nice though, nice and sturdy. They, they're just a little bit harder to drill out. And then I tried some of the silicon instead of using these injection ports but i definitely like the injection ports better um they f they fit snug and you don't have to fish around to find the hole um and then this one is for my green spawn and then i made a bunch of these without the injection port um just because i have a laminar hood but this is a a nice addition because you can put your liquid cultures right into the lid um, you just got sprayed off with alcohol but i'll show you guys how i do that real I hope you enjoyed that video on how to make liquid culture and grain spawn lids. Um, if you don't have these, you can always just flip around the standard metal ones. Eventually those start to rust out though, and that's usually when I upgrade to uh, these fancier ones that are just one piece, so it cuts down in the cleaning time. But give, it, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it with your friends if you think that they would find it useful. And check out our Etsy page if you're interested in purchasing our liquid cultures or our um, petri dish cultures. You can find it all on Fresh Fungi. And I look forward to making the next video. Um, subscribe if you haven't yet and you don't want to miss any more mycology fun. Much love.